70. 76-year-old female here for pain in the left groin. She actually shows minimal arthritis, but MRI discusses severe arthritis. I think it's more moderate, but she does have a large effusion in, in the hip joint on the left side, but she's very tender to the pubic, just lateral to the pubic symphysis, and she does have a fair amount of signal in the adductor musculature attaching on the pubic symphysis, so I think it's more of an osteitis pubis picture, because uh, that seems to be most of her pain. We're gonna do a um, diagnostic and therapeutic injection over the left pubic symphysis where she's most tender. Um, here we're going to go over the approach of an injection for osteitis pubis. Here's some of the musculoskeletal anatomy and neurovascular anatomy in the groin. And this injection is going to be medial to the main neurovascular structures, as you can see here. The probe is almost invisible. And here we're making a little bit more visible. And this is the approach, essentially, of this procedure. We're in a sagittal oblique plane, in-plane approach um, during the injection. And we're essentially trying to get the needle at the origin of the adductor musculature, essentially at the adductor longus, essentially, perhaps a little bit of the adductor brevis tendon as well. And here you can see some of the injected going superficial to the adductor longus tendon. Here's the beginning of our injection. You can see the needle coming in from the upper right corner, going down towards that pubic symphysis region, essentially near the superior pubic ramus. The dark zone just distal to that superior pubic ramus, I believe, is the adductor tendons and specifically the adductor longus tendon. You can see the tip of the needle essentially going right on top of and perhaps into a little bit the adductor longus tendon, which you can see here. And here are the muscle layers that I teased out, uh, adductor longus being superficial and the adductor brevis muscle underneath that. Here we are, we're just continuing our procedure here, sort of fenestrating this tendon a little bit, trying to get the needle all the way towards that superior pubic ramus, perhaps to elicit a healing response as well. Okay. okay. Let me see you do something that would hurt. So here she's trying to sit up and flex her hip essentially, which she's doing really with no difficulty, which did cause significant discomfort prior to the procedure. Um, again, this injection did have lidocaine in it, so not only is it therapeutic, but it's also diagnostic as well, um, as it's pretty clear that this was the source of her pain.